Hello, I'm Jim Bob Hobbs with Disc Grill. We're located at discgrill.com on the web. Uh, we're in Ure County, Colorado, and I want to take a few minutes today to tell you a little bit about discgrill.com and uh, some more about our product. We're a small company, been in business for a few years, and uh, the idea spawned from uh, some days back in Texas whenever uh, we used to cook on disc grills a little bit, and uh, buddy of mine, Ryan Collins, thought that uh, disc grills would really sell, so over the course of the last few years, we've uh, sort of evolved our product, and uh, even though we're small, we're very proud of what we put out day in and day out. So at this time, let me tell you a little bit about the components of our, of our disc grills. And as you can see right here, here's some units that have been started. These are sort of the center consoles where the, the burner and the regulator and the hose is located. Uh, very raw right now, so please don't mistake it for a finished product. But at this point in time, I've, I've got them welded up. I've still got some grinding to do on them, some brushing, and uh, some holes to drill for our tags and things of that nature. But everything that we do is pretty much made from 14 gauge steel. We uh, we roll the, the middle component here out of 14 gauge sheet metal. We uh, cut the vents here in the top to enable the flame to, to burn at a consistent consistent heat. The middle console about seven, seven inches deep. That uh, definitely helps with the wind factor. You can have your disc grill cooking outside on a pretty windy day and don't have to worry about your flame burning out. The uh, center console, as I said, was 14 gauge. The sleeves on the side are also 14 gauge. We use 14 gauge square tubing for those. And uh, a little bit later I'll tell you more about that as far as how those function within the process of disc grills. But all in all it either serves as a stand or the sleeves serve as a place to plug your legs in if you're not cooking on a, a table or a tailgate. Moving on to some of the other components. Uh, our legs are also made of uh, 14 gauge square tubing, uh, good sturdy steel. It's uh, more than likely uh, will outlast me as far as my lifetime goes if you uh, take decent care of it throughout its life. Uh, one of the things I've definitely noticed over time, uh, once or twice a year, I'll take the time to clean my legs off, clean the center console off, and just give it a new fresh coat of paint. And, uh, that keeps it looking new and keeps it from rusting, things of that nature. The uh, disc that we use, the standard disc that we use is pretty much a 22 inch disc. It's uh, just carbon steel, good high quality carbon steel. And uh, you know when it's all said and done and finished, uh, you have a shiny smooth surface that as a customer you would season it and then start cooking on it. But very high quality, the, the discs themselves are probably close to a quarter inch steel, so very, very heavy duty. I think the, the discs themselves with a set of horseshoe handles weighs in at about 23 pounds. A complete unit including the legs, center console, burner, regulator and hose weighs in at about 46 pounds. So uh, as far as shipping goes, it's either a 23 pound package for a disc only or a 46 pound package for a whole unit. The legs themselves, they're, uh, they're hand heated, hand bent, uh, just with some very simple jigs that I have set up. Uh, each one of them just bent to, uh, to an angle that when it's all said and done, your disc cooking height is going to be about 36 to 38 inches tall, which for, for most people that's probably about waist high. So I'm very convenient there. And you can uh, take a look at our sales video and sort of see one in action, see one set up, and uh, get to see more of what our finished product looks like at that point in time. 